Today we are doing sausage and vegetables. We're talking about using leftover things in your refrigerator, in your pantry, but I want to show you what we're going to serve with the sausage and vegetables. These are red kidney beans and we're using leftover ham. So they're going to be delicious with the smoked sausage and vegetables. One of my big pet peeves is waste. People waste too much. And I grew up with a mom who could stretch a nickel further than I can five bucks. That's what today's recipe is all about, is taking things in your crisper, in your refrigerator, that may be wilting, that may be not perfect for that salad like this, uh, wilted kale, and then making something brand new that's beautiful. Don't toss it out. We're gonna use this smoked sausage. We're putting in all these leftover vegetables, a little bit of celery. I had four mini peppers, onion, zucchini, pepper, tomatoes, corn, some fresh parsley from my garden. It's gonna take less than 30 minutes and we're gonna help save the planet and we're not gonna waste food because that's not good. And we wanna spread good in our worlds. Preparation for this recipe is basically just doing the vegetables. And I like to cut them in bite-sized pieces. This is the wilted kale. I'm taking off the stems, we'll discard those. And then we're just gonna chop up this fresh kale and the uh, parsley and throw it in the bowl. And then we're gonna start on the other vegetables. So let's just have a good time chopping. And when I chop kale, I just kind of ball it up like you see here. And then I just give it a, a rough cut. Parsley. Zucchini. Wash your vegetables really, really good. Get all the residue off of them. Doesn't matter if they're organic or not. You want clean vegetables. Mini peppers. And I will not even take out the seeds because they're really not hot and it does add some flavor. And that's what we're after, lots of flavor. Celery, I love celery. And the leaves, oh my gosh, they add so much flavor. Plus the celery is gonna give us some really good crunch. An onion, this is a sweet onion. There we go, our beautiful vegetables, plus our corn. If corn were in season, I'd use fresh corn, and our tomatoes. This is smoked sausage. Now, kielbasa uh, is a name for all sausages, uh, but we're using just regular smoked sausage. You can get it in beef, pork, chicken, turkey, and I like to get it in those kinds of meats like uh, turkey and chicken. Uh, it saves some calories and it's a little more lean. And then I like to get the smoked, and you can cut it any way you like, but I like these bite-sized pieces. They fry up well, each side can be fried, and they're easy to eat. Our smoked sausage. This is one of those one pan dinners, which we love because it makes for less cleanup. So we're gonna cook and serve in this pan. A little bit of olive oil. The skillet is hot and we're going to start with the meat. And we're just gonna brown it just a little bit, try to get it on each side, but it might be kind of tedious to turn over each piece of meat, so I'll do the best I can. And we're gonna add our tomatoes. But to these tomatoes, I'm adding a little bit of extra flavor profile. 
these are coconut uh, or cocoa aminos. They're they're from the nectar of the coconut flower, and it's a umami taste, and it just gives some added added flavor. So we'll just put a tablespoon in there. The spice mixture. Recipe is going to be at Allie'sKitchen.com. Mix all this up. And now we just put our vegetables in and let them steam. So I'll start with the corn of our vegetables. And all of this is just going to steam together. It's not going to cook a long time because you want your vegetables al dente. You know, you want them with a little bit of crisp or uh, texture in them. Okay, lid on. Okay, let's just blend this a little bit. Mm. Wow, really looking beautiful. And you see how all these flavors are gonna come together. This is really like eating a garden. And that's the way you should eat. There should be so many colors on your plate. It looks like the rainbow, or better than the rainbow, or the rainbow on steroids, mega rainbow, whatever. But this is the way you eat. Vitamins, minerals, all those things that lead to better health, more energy, anti-aging. This is what we call good food. And hey, let's check our beans. Mmm. Wow. There we go. Oh, they're done. Oh, they're so tender. I can I can feel the doneness with the spoon. Oh yeah. There's nothing more beautiful than a stove full of pots and you lift each lid and you go, mmm, that smells so good. I can't wait to eat. This is just gonna cook for a few more minutes. Not long at all. Like I said, I like to keep the, the vegetables vibrant and green and a little crunchy. And uh, it's ready to serve. And it's got this great drop in there with those cocoa aminos and spices. So grab the recipe at Allie'sKitchen.com. Let's plate this up. See what flavors we have. This is one of those really simple, easy, quick, less than 30 minute dinner. Uh, the recipe is going to be at Allie'sKitchen.com. I'll see you next time right here in the kitchen. And remember, eat the rainbow. When you eat the rainbow, it keeps you young, healthy, full of energy. Now let's put some beans in this bowl. Now that's what I call really good eating. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here in my kitchen. Hey, my foodie friends, be sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more delicious surprises and kitchen magic. Leave some comments to suggest what delicacy I should do next. Bon appetit! The recipe's at Allie'sKitchen.com, and I'll see you next time right here in my kitchen.